Hello, my name is Shania Martinez, and today I'm going to read a poem called The Hidden One. Have you ever wondered who's the child in the corner, hidden, away from people, away from everyone? She feels neglected, is very effective. She feels alone, even in her own home. She cries at night, wondering why and wondering where she went wrong. The family gives out so much love, but she always gets the small bits. They wonder where she is when she's not there, but when she is, no one seems to care. Everyone has their person, friends, and family, and she's just there. She's an extra, a background character. No one even notices she's there. She tries to talk, but gets ignored, feeling like a burden now and once before. They claim they give out so much love, she doesn't feel it, and she still feels neglected and ignored. She gets jealous about how everyone else gets treated because that's how she dreamed of being treated by her own. They say she disobeys, but she's just trying to find ways. She's the hidden one no one ever really looks at unless she's doing wrong, even if she's in their face. Thank you so much for that, Shania. Sweetheart, it is in your vulnerability when you are the strongest. Earlier this week, I had went to go, um, I had to go and drop off some items at my brother-in-law house, right? So the plan was to just drop off these items, speak to the family and go because I was so exhausted from all the ripping and running that I've been doing that I do every single weekend. And plus y'all, it was an hour drive. But when I got there, God had something else in plan for us. The word was, was that my niece had just received some disruptive news and it was very difficult for her to digest it. Now, if you consider yourself a follower of Christ, then you will know that it is not about you. Okay. So even in my tiredness, okay, and even in my limited time, I had to put myself to the side and be there for my niece. She read to me this poem called The Hidden One. She didn't write it on this day, but on the day that she wrote that poem, she felt hidden. Nisi, you are not the only one. I am wise enough to know that you are not the only one who feels hidden. This one is for all of my hidden friends. God knows exactly where you are. If you feel like you are alone, I'm here to tell you that you are not. If you feel like you are not loved, I am here to tell you that you are. You see, I know that it can be hard to believe in something that you can't see. It can be very, very difficult to trust someone you barely you barely know but I'm here to tell you ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters is that God God is so real you must know this you must know that there is a battle and the only way the devil can play with you the only way and the only place he plays here in your mind. You have to know who is navigating your thoughts and know that you have authority over the voices that's in your head. And I know that sometimes those voices in your head can be complemented by the voices in your reality. And I'm here to tell you today that it is a lie. It's the inner you that you have to battle with. Your carnal mind and the Holy Spirit. It's a battle every day. And you have to know who's on stage in your head. Anytime that voice pop up in your head and tell you that you are alone, 
you tell them you are not. When that voice pop up in your head and tell you that you are loved, you tell them that God loves you because you are a child of God. You are connected to the most sovereign, omniscient God of this universe. And he loves you more than anything, anything on this earth. You got to know that there is a battle in your mind and everything that comes from you is not good for you. So when you hear those thoughts, you have to feed your mind and your spirit every single day. The voices never stop and they never will. But you have authority over what you can do with the voices that plays out in your head. It is not true, and we calling them out today, that it is a lie. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to trust them anymore. Resist the enemy and he will flee. So we not believe in the lies no more today. You understand? God loves you. Mm, mm, mm. He loves him. Some views, whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, you are loved by God. It's your girl, your big homie, TT. Thank you for allowing me to pour this sweet tea of love, inspiration, and motivation. Y'all tune in next week and see what God's going to do, because you know I have no idea. But this I do know. When you click off this, wherever you are, whether you're in your car, in your room, in your, your house, wherever you are on today, that environment is not going to change. But guess who can? You. Let's change the way we think. Let's feed your mind with positivity daily. Let's disregard those voices that plays off in our head. Because today, you know who you are and whose you are. Hmm. Tag, you're it. Now, what you do with this information, that's on you. And if this video resonates with you, like, subscribe, and share. You be an inspiration on today. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We found you on today. Y'all be blessed. Bye.